question we get pretty often by pet parents who are worried about the e-collar being too tight on the dog's neck is how it should actually be fit. So I wanted to show you today with Nelly. So I have my regular standard issue e-collar strap with the slide buckle like this. Here's how it fastens. Pretty simple. And what I do is I take my dog and I go on either the left or the right side, kind of towards the back of her neck. That's where the muscle is. You can feel those two muscles running this way. I'm going to gently pull the fur back to expose the skin. Right there is good. I'm going to nestle the unit in there. And as I hold it there, I'll pull the strap around and fasten it. And then I'll check the tightness. So if I could fit two to three fingers under there, I know we're good. So it can slide freely with some force, but it won't just be flopping around on your dog's neck, making no contact, because that would be useless. You need to have contact with both prongs on the e-collar box to have effective use of the e-collar unit. Girl. So about here is good. If you're concerned about the tightness of your collar and that you're not getting enough contact but you feel like you're choking your dog, there are bungee collars out there. Collars with a bungee strap in the middle or the whole thing is a bungee. I like those for the dog's comfort and ease of use. But if you fit this correctly, you can't go wrong with it. You're not going to choke your dog. It just needs to be snug but not overly tight.